Hi guys, it's Misha. In today's video, I'd like to spend some time to talk about metaphysics. I'm pretty interested in the topic, so I thought it might make an interesting ASMR video. If you don't know what metaphysics is, it's basically a philosophy about the nature of reality. Now, uh, keep in mind, I'm not a philosophy scholar by any means. Uh, and so I don't know what these ideas that I'm going to talk about are called or who first came up with them but they're just ideas that I like to think about so I thought you might too I'm actually reading a very good book about metaphysics right now called Why Does the World Exist? which is basically the ultimate metaphysics question It's a very good book. I suggest you check it out That's not what this video is going to be I'm going to talk about the realities that we live in, the types of existence. There's objective reality. And objective reality includes things like space and time. Uh, includes things like apples and atoms. and sun and your body these are the things that exist in the universe that we can see they are things that we can measure, things that we can weigh and quantify. What makes it a part of objective reality is when all different people interpret the same objective reality. So we all experience the world around us together and that's how we know that it's objective 
because we can all look at it and see it. But there's another type of reality. And that's subjective reality. These are the things that do not exist in space-time. These are the things that can't be measured or observed by anybody else. These are things like ideas, knowledge, Emotions like love, happiness, sadness, uh, even abstract concepts like in math. Exists only in the subjective world. The same is true of irrationality. These are also things that are experiences, like sensations, like when you see something, the thing that you experience in your mind when you see something is a subjective experience. The same is true when you touch something. When you smell something, when you taste something, that's a time. These are all subjective experiences. Now, the thing about the subjective reality is that it is. Now, the thing about subjective reality is that it is fundamentally different from objective reality because these are all things that only one person gets to experience. You'll never be able to see love in the objective world. You can see representations of love, like when two people kiss each other. It expresses the subjective experience that they're feeling, but it is not the subjective experience that they're feeling. So although there only seems to be one objective reality, there are as many subjective realities as there are people to go along with them. many subjective realities, and while they can't interact with each other, they can all interact with the objective. Through the way that we behave in the objective world, and how we choose to affect Now, there's a common conception that when it comes to existence and what's actually real, that the objective reality is 
towards the reality that actually exists and the subjective reality is the reality that doesn't actually exist it's all fake, it's an illusion that's kind of a common conception however, this is counterintuitive to us, actually just through the way that we experience reality we know that the subjective reality exists in the same way we know that we exist you may have heard the phrase Cogito ergo sum from Descartes it means I think, therefore I am what this means is that even if objective reality were fake for instance, if we were dreaming or if we were plugged into the matrix and we weren't sure what, what was real in the objective world what we can know for sure is that we exist simply because we are the ones doing the knowing we are the ones doing the thinking so we have to exist or there wouldn't be any knowing and there wouldn't be any thinking that's what I think, therefore I am means however thought, thinking, knowledge, and experiencing are all subjective experiences they all take place here you'll never be able to see a thought or see an idea knowledge and everything we experience takes place in this realm of reality in this fate state of existence now the subjective world and the objective world cannot interact directly you cannot put something that exists in space put it into a subjective experience, into someone's mind it has to go through one of the senses first when I look at something my eyes translate it into a subjective experience so our objective reality is filtered through all of these senses that we have And becomes subjective experience through our objective bodies and experienced in our subjective minds now, subjective and objective reality can never touch and two separate subjective realities can never touch they can only ever communicate through the objective world I have to write something down on a piece of paper for instance and someone else will read it and it will get translated as an idea from my mind to an idea in their mind however, these two things are not quite identical they're a little different because before it, the idea could get here it had to go through the objective world and the limited symbols that we have Now, human beings use symbols for two purposes 
the first purpose is to use it as sort of a compression algorithm. When you symbolize something, you are taking a big concept or an abstract idea and you're condensing it, putting it into a word or a sentence or a story and symbols can be very complicated but you're taking something very big and abstract and trying to make it smaller and manageable because when you can do that you can put it in a sentence you can play around with it you can apply logic to it you can play around with other ideas and it all becomes part of this vast network of ideas in our own minds. But we can only do that through symbol. And one of the differences between us and the other animals on this planet is that we seem to be able to symbolize where they don't. And that's why we have a concept of self, because we look at ourselves and we put a symbol on it. This is me. This is the idea of me. We give it a name. And animals don't have that concept, because they don't have a symbol for it. And humans, by the way, it's estimated that we didn't have language, which are symbols, for 50,000 years after we became a species. I guess during that time, there was no communication like we have today. And they say that that first creation of language was actually the first singularity that our species experienced. They say that we're due for another one. We'll see. The main idea that I'd like to present here is that although the subjective and the objective worlds can never coexist with each other. We exist in them both. We live in two separate realities, two separate types of existence. This is one existence, and this is another existence. The objective world a little easier to understand in the subjective world because we all live in this objective world and we can all confirm parts about it with each other. And when we all work together to understand something like that, understanding happens very quickly and we can discover things like the laws of physics. We can discover quantum reality. We can discover the Higgs boson. We get to work together to figure out all the little rules that make this reality operate. It's more difficult to do in the subjective reality that you are in because you are the only one that exists in your subjective reality. You can't do testing in it. You can't measure it the same way that we measure the objective world. However, like in the objective world, the subjective world 
does have its own set of rules. It has its own laws of non-physics. And the more you learn to understand those rules, the more you will understand yourself. And the more you will understand who you are and what you're doing here. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, discussion, go ahead and leave some in the comments. If there's anything that you didn't understand or I didn't explain very well, let me know. If you disagree with my interpretation of reality, I would absolutely love discuss it with you. This is one of my favorite topics in the whole world. Alright.